What's up, guys, and welcome back to Pool Cleaning Simulator. We are back on the grind, baby, and I'm excited because we have our first major commercial contract. The local school hit us up. There's a new headmistress, and she wants us to scrub her deep and disgusting corners. Good morning. As a new headmistress of the school, I'm asking you to clean up this wretched swimming pool. Please don't empty it, though. Water's become very expensive. We're going to try to be eco-friendly. Please also replace the filters, clean the pool area around it. Code for the pump room is one, two, three, four. Kind regards from Dory Bridge. How you doing, Dory, with your cat sweatshirt? All right, so we need a pressure washer, underwater vacuum cleaner. That's going to be fun. Landing net, wrench, filter, and containers of chlorine. Looks like a lot of this, I think most of that we're already going to have. So we're definitely going to put the chlorine in there. We want the filters. We want the pressure washer. We want the landing net. We want the underwater vacuum, and we want the wrench. Beautiful. I think we're... We're all good to go to accept this job. Big old school swimming pool. Got to make sure the kids can play. Let's grab our net. Oh, gosh. Okay, we've got little, like, floaty kick things. I used to have those when I was little. We've got flip-flops all over the place. So we want to we pick all that stuff up. We also want to pick up the stuff out of the pool. This is going to be a massive pool to clean. Get our first uh, little duck here. Where is this the trash over here? Might be able to dump it in here. Beautiful. All right. Oh, Someone lost their draws. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna pick these up real quick. Drop that in. We have uh, somebody put a, I don't know how a magazine is, is floating in the pool. Oop, that dropped in, beautiful. Okay, we've got five lanes here. Honestly, a pretty impressive swim. Look at this, dude, who left these here? What did you get out of the pool in? That's, that's like everybody's worst nightmare, right? Like getting in the pool and, and having some sort of a situation happen. It's happened to me in the ocean a couple times. Like, come on, c c control yourself. What is this? I can't read it. I have no, is that like cologne, perfume, something like that? I'm not sure. All right, we're going to get this pool clean. Drink cup. These are the bane of my existence. All these kids going to their McDonald's and everything. There we go. Got it. All right, let's get this thrown away. What is this? You know what? I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to pick it up. We're going to throw this away. This is kind of a little disgusting. Not going to lie. I don't think y'all are paying me enough. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to go throw this back in the back of the truck. We want to fill the floaters and put the floaters in the pool. So we're going to put this in here. Let's grab our chlorine tablets. The floaters, I'm assuming if they aren't in the pool, she said it was code 1234. They're in here. All right, so let's go ahead and access this. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. I'm gonna set this down. Let's grab these and we can place these all outside. We're gonna wanna fill them up with our chlorine tablets. And then I'm assuming we're gonna put these in the four corners of the pool. We have a whole pump system in here. Not sure if we're gonna have to mess with that. I don't know how many it's gonna want. Um, I guess, well, we aren't gonna be able to put five in each. So I'm gonna put five in one and then four in the rest. Uh, we actually might be able to put five in each. Hold on. We have the perfect amount. There it is. All right, they're all good to go, I guess. We can throw this out, right? I don't I don't think it, it wants us to throw it out. I think it probably wants us to keep the the cylinder. We we don't want to waste here, you know? We're we're eco-friendly. So I'm just gonna put that back in our, our van. And then we're gonna place these floaters in the pool. Once this one right here, so we can just place it like that. That's one out of four. This one is going over to the opposite side. So it's got a a corner it wants each one to go in. One right here. And it looks like next up, we're going to be cleaning the bottom of the pool. And if we can't drain it, that means we get to use our little RoboVac. Very excited about that. So, clean the bottom of the pool. Let's go grab our vacuum. This is our first time using this. Not really sure how we're going to do it. Floaters will allow you to see the dirt that will settle to the bottom of the swimming pool. Start using the underwater vacuum cleaner. Get to the corner of the pool. To end using it, get back to the same corner. So, you want me to just put it... Oh... Oh, 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 look at us. Dude, this is sick. Can we make it all the way to this other side? Oh, this is so satisfying. Are you kidding me? Listen, the bubble and rumble of the, the water underneath. This is great. All right, so we're just going to go back and forth. Hopefully not get tangled up. And this is certainly a lot easier than draining all the water, going over it with a power washer. You know what I mean? Like, let's just... Run nice smooth lines here. I feel like we should go along the edges. Can we go the entire length of the pool or are we gonna hit some sort of a limit here? If we can go the full length, that's impressive. But I feel like we should, you know, give us a space to turn around. Oh wow, we can do the whole thing all from one edge of the pool. But if we, if we, you know, get like one, one wall nicely situated, then we can go back and forth and we don't have to worry about butting all the way up against the wall and making sure that we get the corner the long straight lines might be the key 
Honestly, now that I think about it. Oh, we gotta turn a little bit. I mean, we're getting there. We're at 34%. Are we gonna see that click up to 35? This is so satisfying. 35, all right, each line is giving us about a percent. This is, this is gonna be a while, but hey, we're getting it done. Oh my gosh, man, this is taking a hot minute. Halfway done, or a little over halfway. I think we're about two thirds of the way done, just doing these long rows here. It is like, sitting here just watching this, it's a little, not, not creepy, but it, it's like, you can't really see what's up in front of you. I was just thinking about how, I feel like I don't really get it as much anymore, but back when I was a kid, especially when I was swimming by myself, because we had like one of the Walmart, you know, not blow up pools, but like a, an above ground pool in the backyard, like the couple hundred bucks, perfect for the summer, that sort of thing. I would love to go out and swim in it myself. And um, when I was like, I, I would always be fine when I was swimming there by myself. But as soon as I was about to get out, when I was like getting on the ladder to get out, I always, like my head always went to, oh my gosh, there's a shark in here. You need to get like out of the water as fast as possible. Get your legs out. It's gonna grab your legs and pull you back. And that, like this whole, ominous you can't really see that far in front of the vacuum just kind of gave me that feeling a little bit so just working away here with our little pool wally hopefully getting towards the end i think yeah we can see the edge of the pool now so a few more laps and we should be good oh my gosh it kind of scared me a little bit we were not as close as I thought we were. Okay, gotta love that ding. We're gonna follow our little tether here. We're like a scuba diver going cave diving. Don't know where we're gonna end up, but we're gonna follow this tether back to our corner. Our robo vac is done. Now it looks like we wanna change the filters, clean the stains around the pool, pick up the trash arounds. Can I pick this up? Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna take this back to the van. Throw this in here. You're, oop, hello. Throw that in there. You're a good little robot. Let me grab this. Oh, we're probably going to need the wrench, aren't we? All right, so I'm just going to drop our power washer out here. We're going to grab our wrench as well. It said we needed a wrench. Oh, we're going to need the filters as well. So let me grab these filters. And I'm assuming these are going to go in here somewhere. Unscrew the screws to get to the filters. Is that here? You know, I'm going to hope for the best. I'm not exactly sure. I really hope this is it because we're kind of just randomly disassembling their pool equipment at this school, but it's the only place I've seen screws. So we're just going to go for it. We'll see if this ends up working out for us. Okay, beautiful. So now we should be able to open or do I pick this up? Take the old one out, put the new one in. Ah, you can only grab one at a time. Okay, so we've got our second one here. We're gonna throw this in this one. We've got another old filter. I guess we could just throw these out, right? You throw it out in the bin and then it falls out. Okay, I don't, I don't think we have to worry about that. So that's done. Do we need to put this back on at all or no? It, it looks like we're good. It's not gonna make us put the, the thing back on. So I'm gonna throw a wrench back in. We don't wanna forget any of our tools. We're gonna pick this up and we wanna clean this Stains around the pool. Now this is what I'm talking about. Although we do need to pick this stuff up too. Do we want to, is this considered trash? I don't think this is trash. I'm assuming trash is like this. That counts as trash. Okay. These, we probably, if we wanted to be really kind, we could like throw them in this basket maybe. I mean, that's not really my job though. You need to get after your kids if they're leaving their floaties all over the place, but... Might have to move some stuff to get these stains up. Dude, this is so satisfying. This is nice. The blood was really frustrating. This, super, super nice. We got some black mold here, it looks like. Or something. Get this all cleaned up. So it's been like a week, week and a half, two weeks, something like that since I last played this game. I feel like they got kind of generous in the, the cleaning things. I was actually talking to the devs a little bit because they sent it to me early. And I told him, especially on the blood one, that it was brutal. That Like, you had to get way too close to 100% to actually be able to complete it. And it looks like maybe that change was made. I don't know if that's because of me or they realized it themselves. What is this? Just a piece of siding or something? Okay, I don't need that. But yeah, this is... I mean, it, it still makes you get close. And you still have to do some double, you know, sprays and things. For some of the harder to reach messes, but it's better than it was, that's for sure. Get this one here. Small one over here. Beautiful. We got another couple over here. People just using 
Tresemme hair care. Is this a shower? I guess this is this is a shower area, so that would that would make a lot of sense. All right, we've got this black one, the green one over by the trash cans, and then it looks like a black and a brown one. There's just something so satisfying about watching these stains slowly go away. I really like the way the stains work in this game. You see how like that part is a lot lighter than this part. Like it, it it's not you know hit or miss. It's very realistic in that you have kind of a, a fade happening, a gradient of dirt. So I think. That's the last one. Beautiful. Cleaning around the pool is done. We want to bring our tools back to the van. This should be our last one, right? Or do we leave? Do we need to bring the filters back, maybe? They might want us to bring the filters back to the van. So we have another one right here. Don't want to leave any of our tools behind. That's that. And now we have 12 pieces of trash that it wants us to pick up. So I'm a uh, flip-flop, probably not, but definitely the... Hair care products, that's two. Here's number three. I feel like as a, a pool cleaner, this should not be in my job description. Picking up after your messy kids. We got towels, is this considered trash? I wouldn't think this is trash, but we'll find out. No, it's not trash. Can I like, huh? No, it should ideally spawn back over here. I was hoping I could throw it over to the other side and go get it later. Problem is a lot of it's over on this side of the pool. So it's just a lot of running back and forth. This feels like somebody who isn't quite up to par with my skill set of cleaning things, but the money's there, I don't care. A calculator? Somebody uh, left this, can I throw this out? Yeah, uh, no, that didn't count. Okay, oh, okay, we have more stuff in here found a magazine this is number 12 and we need one more piece of trash if i was trash where would i hide i've done numerous laps around this thing it is harder than it looks just one piece of trash here man these things don't count unfortunately you throw them in there and then they disappear out so that's not it we can't pick up any of those there's nothing here there's nothing in here. Is there anything in these? This is what makes it so hard, dude. It's just so, so rare. There's no magazines or anything anywhere. Like, there's no obvious trash here. We're missing something. Can't pick this up. Is it out front, maybe? We've got that. We've got nothing there. I can't pick up any of these shoes. One of the sandals actually counted as trash. Nothing down there. Shoot. Are you telling me we're on the very final thing and we're not going to be able to find it? I'm even going to do the side mission of bringing these flutter boards and, and setting them in this uh, weird geometric setup that they want. And I'm hoping that as we do that, we're going to end up finding... You got stuck on the wall there. Finding the, the missing piece here. This is not good. Is it this? I couldn't even see that. Tell me this is it. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> it was a towel that was laying on the ground. You could not see that. All right. I wasn't going to do the optional one, but I, I guess we'll we'll go the full distance for uh, Gertrude or whatever her name was. So many of these little kicker swimmy board things. So this is going to be the final couple of pieces right there. Look at that. Collected the swimming boards, did everything. Bright, shiny new pool for everyone to play in. Man, that took a lot of time right there, but it was worth it. Okay, I think we're uh, we're all good to go. For your help in building a wonderful plank pyramid, we would like to present you with a certificate of appreciation from class 11. B. So that's a job well done. Job four out of five is complete. We have the aqua park coming up next. Looks pretty intense. Excited to check that out. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys want more, let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace out.